everybody. Welcome to this Coda walkthrough where Rocky and I are going to go through how to build a team hub using Coda. So Rocky, when you think about a team hub, what are some of the big advantages that people can get if they set this up? Well, one of the things I love about a team hub is that you can use it asynchronously or remotely as well as if you work in person, right? And so it has all the things that you need to keep your team connected uh, in an async or remote environment, but it's also a great single source of truth for people who like come to the office every day and you just need that resource. You need to go back and find that, that one thing that you can't remember where it yeah. is. If it li lives in your team hub, that makes it a little easier to find. Totally. So let's go ahead and get started. I think the most important thing about team hubs is that you're really going to be using Coda pages to help people navigate and keep things really organized. So I'm going to start adding some sub pages. Rocky, why don't you do that too? I'm going to start by doing um, a team directory. Oh, and actually awesome. going to just drag that under there. I'm going to call cool. this the team directory. And I happen to know that we have a little template that I can use to get started. So I'm going to do slash team directory there it is so now that's going to be loaded in here we can have all of those team members show up we can have all of the roles that we can see with the job descriptions all of the different teams and you know one of the things that i really want to do is i want to actually add um, a little button so we can go slash and button and I'm going to call this button uh, add a new teammate because our company is growing and we always want to be able to have that go through there. And we're going to just add a row. It's going to go into the meet our team table and I'm going to have it open the row for editing. We'll make it medium blue and I kind of like this button here. So now we can click on add a new teammate and I could go ahead and put all of that stuff in here as our team expands. So Rocky, I see that you've been creating a couple other pages over here. So we've got the calendar, uh -huh. meetings, OKRs, the resources, and it looks like you've got some sub pages here as well for that glossary. I also know that our company is really, really into um, continued learning. So I'm gonna add a sub page for the resources as well, which is um, helpful educational videos. Oh, nice. So that people could go ahead and you know post those videos right in here, either by embedding it or we can have a table. I get super excited about this stuff. Big education nerd over here for sure. Yes, yes for sure. exactly. And you know, Rocky, I'm actually gonna just um, drag and drop all of these pages as sub pages as well, because oh, I really want us to create like a cool homepage experience here with the team hub. So I've got yeah. the different sub page buttons, but I'm gonna actually make the size of these large. So now oh, nice. it, it really feels a little bit more like a wiki. And I love that you're adding um, a cover photo up here at the top. I was so just thinking again, when you said homepage, starting... right? Yeah, exactly. It's starting to feel a little bit more like home. And notice that all of the icons that we choose are gonna show up um, here. But if we add a homepage, uh, a cover image rather on the team directory, right? I'm gonna add a one here, we'll call this team. And that one feels really great. Notice when I come back here, that cover photo comes through. So we can really start to make this feel more like our place, like our brand. Notice how it's all being filled in with those different um, header images and those different cover photos. And the other nice thing about these cover photos is you can choose something from Unsplash, but maybe you and your company have a very specific brand. You could actually just design your own and upload them right here. And you can always uh, reposition these if you want to do that as well. So that's really creating the structure for our, our team hub. But now we can start to add things in. And what I love about Coda is that everything is editable. So instead of having to do any specific code to make an update or push things out, if you go and start making those changes, they're automatically gonna be available to everyone. So I'm gonna head over to our vision and mission and I wanna start adding some information here. So Rocky, why don't you go ahead and start working on the vision and I'm gonna start writing our mission. So I'm gonna come up here. I'm gonna go ahead and do pound space, which is gonna give me a header. So I could say our vision. And then now I could say our vision is 2020. We love to see things clearly with our glasses or contact lenses. <laughs> a very silly vision, but nonetheless, I'm gonna type it. And I could go ahead and gather this uh, selected and maybe I want this to be an H2, so it's a little bigger, or H3. Honestly, for this one, I think I might actually do the little pull quote or even oh, nice. the full quotation, just to kind of have it stand out a little bit more. 
And notice Rocky can do this down here with that uh, the mission as well. We can be typing all of this together. I could then, uh, we've got the little numbers in here. We could also change the font here. Maybe I want the options. I want this font to be in a serif font or maybe mm. larger, right? We can also change the alignment however we want it to. So this allows me to really customize what this looks like. I'm also going to toggle on the subtitle, the authors, and the outline just so we can start to see this come together, right? Learn more about why we do what we do. Notice Rocky and I are listed here as those authors. We could add more. And what I love about the outline is it allows you to click in to any place on your page. So as this starts to expand, right? If we have maybe a, another place which is more stuff, notice that's showing up over here. If I click on that, it takes me down. So this is building that together so it's really easy for anyone to navigate what we're doing and we're able to see all of this information. The other thing that I love, if we think about finding what we need, is your people can use this search bar right up here. So I could search for uh, vision, if I spell it correctly, and it's gonna pull up everywhere we've got that. So not only the headers and the pages, but also the text itself. So I can search and find exactly what I need and I can go ahead and click on any one of these and it's gonna take me right there. So that's our vision and mission. But of course, Rocky, we don't just deal with text, right? We also deal with the dates of things. Oh yeah. So if we head over to the calendar, we can actually add that in. And Rocky, what do you think? I interrupted you, sorry. No, you're great. I'm just yes anding you all day. This is awesome. Um, I really <laughs> love, I love building with you, Maria. So keep going, keep running. All right, nice. So I'm going to do slash and calendar. Now we've got a couple other uh, calendar packs and templates in here, but I'm actually just going to start from scratch just by adding a basic calendar. It's going to be blank and I'm going to call this the team events. And now what we can do is we can just click on any one of these and I can add a new event, right? Like team meeting. And we have the start. We can say the duration. It's not going to be a day. <laughs> Maybe I can adjust that. We can include uh, time to connect. Maybe I want to add a column here where we could put the link to the Zoom meeting, right? We could actually add the Zoom pack and be able to include that Zoom meeting uh, link right here so people can come right on in. We can add any information we like and now it's all there and people can click on it and see more or just hover over it and see all of the information that we are talking through. And I love that Rocky actually added a little button up at the top, which is add a meeting. And I could click on that and it's gonna allow me to say uh, party for Rocky. And the start time is today and the duration is 10 days long. It's huge. <laughs> the description is it's going to be great. And now we've got that there. We can see it all coming through. So this is a place where people could go to get all of the information that they need. Now, one of the other things is, you know, a calendar is great for events, but maybe I want to have a better place for a meeting repository. So I'm going to actually use a template to get us started. So I'm going to type slash and meetings. We're going to choose the weekly meeting notes template and go ahead there. So now we can see all of the agenda items and we could change this. So instead of being topics, right, we could call this the uh, recordings, right? We could say the meeting name. Notice here we've got that sort of summary, but then on these, we can just click on that and see all of the notes, right? So it's a wonderful little canvas column there. We have the date, we say it was added by. And here I would also probably add a little column and this could be the recording. And here I would use that Zoom pack to just add the recording right here so that even if I can't attend live, I can still get all the information. Rocky, when you think about a meetings table, what else should we include here? Anything else that you can think of that would be really valuable for people? I, I um, would always include like a reactions column that's like an attended, right? Like a checkbox that's like, did you go to the meeting, click the check, and then that way people know, or did you watch the recording, right? So that way there's a, um, uh, a record of like, all right, who actually participated, who should have gotten this information, makes it a little yeah. easier to do. Um, and then I love the notes column as well because um, in that notes column, you can obviously take the notes, um, but because it's a canvas column, you can put tables in there and you can track things within the meetings um, and sit in action items and things like that as well. Cool, I'm just adding those uh, different reaction columns. I love that. Okay. I'm gonna just go reaction. I watched the recording. Maybe we'll have this be a video. Right? Oh, nice. 
And now I'm going to just make these a little bit smaller and then I'm going to extend that down so I can see uh, I've got nice skinny columns and then I've got uh, that set up right there. The other thing that we've done is if we've covered this, right, we can click on it. We've got some conditional formatting happening here. So I could go to the options, conditional format, and here if covered is checked, then it's making it gray. And if the meeting is blank, right, like for example, if this doesn't have anything, notice that's now yellow. So it's a great way to let people know what they need to do. That's awesome. The other thing is, you know, goals are important. Objectives and key results are important. So we're going to have those here in our team hub as well. I'm going to get us started, Rocky, by doing slash, you guessed it, OKRs. Right here, yeah, this is a wonderful starting template which has um, a detail of how to get started. And actually, this one's a little bit more complex. So I'm actually gonna do Command Z because you can always change your mind. And I'm gonna do OKRs. We're gonna do a simple OKR tracker just for now to get us started. And here nice. we can see we've got our objectives. We've got our objectives and our key results and then how well we're doing. And notice that as we make progress, our goals uh, change color up at the top, letting us know when we're in the clear. So we could add more objectives. We can change these, right? We can uh, make all these updates to be our own. We can add more key results, right? Like order 10 pizzas for Maria. Ta -da! And that's going to be right there. And now we've got that. So we could go ahead and what? customize this as well. One yeah, thing I love here, Maria, that I would love to talk through is one, we just released the status column type now, um, oh, yeah. which so I'm changing that right now to sorry, progress. And so now you get the Ooh. progress bar, which is a little cooler. It's got a little bit more of a feel still operates yeah. in the way where you can slide it. Um, and the other thing I would love to do is create a quick sub page for uh, my OKRs and just do a view of um, of that table filtered by the user. Yeah. So that way we can we can see just our specific stuff. stuff. Nice. Excellent. Such a good idea. Because for anything that we have that is in Coda as a table, you can make a view of it and filter it appropriately. So notice Rocky's adding it in here. And this is just a view, which means it's the exact same information. And any changes we make here automatically are shown back in the parent area and vice versa. So if I decide that uh, this 99% satisfaction rate is now mine, I'm going to give it to myself. And if nice. I go back to my OKRs, there it is. Because what Rocky did is Rocky went to filter and shows that the responsible column is equal to the current user. So Rocky, what do you see on your side? Yes. When you go to the stage? That's it. So I just see myself. Uh, so I have build V2 software and a budget and build V2 device with 10% decrease in cost, which are very similar. And I feel like they fit right in my wheelhouse. That's not true. Um, and I can adjust the progress bars on these. Um, and then I just got added order 10 pizzas for Maria, which I'm actually very good at. Um, so that just popped up on my screen as well. Cool. So the view thing is wonderful. It's honestly my favorite Coda feature because it means that you don't have to duplicate your efforts. If you do something once, it automatically shows up everywhere else. So the last part of this little setup that Rocky and I want to share with you is one of our favorite templates, which is kind of a glossary or a team dictionary. Because here at Coda, Rocky, as you know, we have tons of acronyms that we need to keep uh, track of. And I know we are not alone. So that's why we really like this uh, dictionary template. Because if you click on dictionary, it creates a table. And what it's done is it's put the display into what's called a detail view, which means each row is something you can click through, kind of like a little flip book. And now what you can do is you can put in the terms or you know the acronym here that uh, Rocky has added, OCOOK, which means, of course, use CODA. And we can have all of this information about the different ideas, the different terms, things like that. So that now, if we are back in our vision and mission, and I can say, uh, we aim that everyone says, and I can do at OCOOK, Notice it allows me to reference that and it's right there. And now this means that as people are moving through, they can hover over it and learn more about what each of these terms means. Oh, it means of course use CODA. So as you're writing your documentation, if you've got those acronyms or phrases or things that need more context, you can put them inside of that little glossary dictionary so that everyone has access to be able to see it, not only when it's at referenced inside of your text, but also to search, right? What does this O'Cook thing? Someone said it in a meeting. There we go. I can now look at it. 
This is huge for onboarding. So a lot of my job at Coda is new hire onboarding and teaching Coda as a product. And whenever this is used within the materials that we give to our new hires, it is like chef's kiss. It's so good because they can just find that information they need right away. Or like Maria said, go back and reference the doc after they've heard it in their random meeting. I'm like, hold on, I wanna make sure I know what that means. It's, I cannot stress the glossary or, or slash dictionary enough as a great resource. Yes, and remember that search bar up here also works for table data. So you can search and see everything here as well. Look at that description and get all the stuff. All right, so that concludes the team hub, which is really, again, made of pages, each one with a specific purpose to help people understand what things are, how to get what they need and how to stay connected. Now it's up to you. Go in, start making your own structure, customize it, make it your own, and more than anything, have fun. And thanks for being the best part of Coda.